And by the way guys, ha, stay tuned until the end of the video. Kasi, may naghihintay para sa inyo. Parang almost same shade lang sila. Bakit parang ang gray nung akin? I find it pricey, sa totoo lang. back to another video. So, for today's video, ito na! Finally! Finally! And in fairness naman dito, I like to comment ang bilis ng shipping nila. So, syempre mga kapesi, mahal na mahal ko talaga kayo, no? So, ayan na po, ano? Uh, try natin yung pinakabagong product ng All Covered by Anakai. So, si Anakai, she is also a YouTube content creator. And ngayon, nag-put up siya ng business. So, yung unang business niya ay yung mga sponges. Ayan. And then, ngayon naman ay nag-release siya ng tinted sunscreen. So, technically, mga kabesi, kung ang Pilipinas at ng araw ay mga studyante, seatmates sila, ba diba? Diyos ko, laban na laban sa pagiging tropical ang Pilipinas, nakakaloka. Although, syempre, ngayon nga, season ng tagulan, pero kapag naman ang init, besh, Diyos ko, abot hanggang langit. And sa totoo lang, guys, yung init ng araw na yon ang daming sakit ang pwede mo makuha doon, pwede ka magkaroon ng mga skin burns, at posible din siyang mag-cause ng cancer kung matagal na matagal ka lagi naka-expose sa araw. Kaya nga, ano yun, I encourage you guys, ha, if meron kang family member, friend, na nag-work sa field, please encourage them to wear yung mga protective equipments or yung mga sun shields, ganyan, sombrero, shades, long sleeve, kahit na mainit. Kesa naman sa, alam mo yun, direktang matamaan ng araw yung katawan nila, kawawa naman guys, and very prone to wrinkles and early aging ang ating skin kapag lagi tayong exposed sa araw. So, araw natin guys, meron yung rays na nilalabas, ba diba? So, yung UVA at saka si UVB. A, A, from the word A, ito yung nagkakos ng aging. Ito yung mga rays na nagpe-penetrate sa ating balat. And then, when you say UVB naman mga kabesi, UV as in burn, like skin discoloration, skin burns, and skin cancer. So, I have here, mga kabesi, yung All Covered by Anakai na Skin Saver. So, ito yung pinaka-packaging niya. Actually, medyo nabigla ako. I was expecting na parang malaki siya na packaging. Kasi pag tinitingnan ko sa picture, sabi ko, ala, parang hindi siya travel-friendly. Sabi ko nga eh, nagre-request din kayo guys ng Versus Versus. Sabi ko, when I make a Versus Versus of this two, sa packaging mananalo si BLK kasi mas travel-friendly to. And then, when I saw this, wow, ganun pala yung packaging niya. I was expecting mga ganyang kataas. <laughs> so, Ayan, buti naman hindi. Actually guys, very basic nung packaging niya. Pero ang maganda kasi dito is airless pump siya. So you will really get lahat ng product sa loob. Hindi mo kailangan sundut-sundutin guys. Teka, ang ingin ng Viber ko. Wait lang mga sis. Uh, nakalagay dito yung skin saver and then yung shade is nasa ilalim. I have here two shades mga kabesi. Naubusan ako ng light. Well, kaya ako binalak bumili ng light is because I'm gonna try it as a concealer. Sinakita ko yung coverage niya sa swatches. And sabi ko, parang makapal yung coverage niya. So, gusto kong makita. Baka mamaya pwede ko matry. Pero na-sold out nga. So, sabi ni Anna, magsisend na lang daw siya ulit sa akin. And then, meron siyang four main ingredients dito, which is vitamin C, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and centella asiatica. So, mamaya iisa-isahin ko siya sa inyo para saan tong mga to. And then, nakalagay dito, tinted sunscreen, 30ml. At, nandito guys yung mga ingredients. So, in fairness naman, nandito lahat... But I am looking for the... Ayun, meron siyang expiration date pala sa ilalim. This one is until uh, July 2021. What? So, two years pala to. Wow, it's, it's kind of rare na makahanap ng mga sunscreen or skincare product na more than a year. Kasi usually 12 months. So, this is until 2021. Pero, besh, sa araw-araw na magsa-sunscreen ka at ito gagamitin mo, I don't think maubos mo to ng dalawang taon. Baka 6 months or isang taon maubos mo siya. May hinahanap akong ingredients dito, guys. Kasi merong dalawang ingredients na consider na harmful. Although, studies hasn't like 100% proven it yet. Pero kahit na, ito daw yung parang pinaka hinahanap natin ingredients. So, yun yung oxybenzone, tsaka yung octinoxate. So, meron siya ditong mineral ingredient, guys, which is yung titanium dioxide. Meron siyang phenoxytanol. Oh, this is nice. Wala siya nung dalawang ingredients na yun. So, totoo. Ayan na. I can feel it. Okay. Since airless pump siya, guys, parang mousse yung kanyang itsura. Ayan yung medium. And then, I have here si Tan. This is nice kasi may control yung pump niya. Pero, one concern is, parang almost same shade lang sila. Ala, ang kapal. Parang kapal-kapal yung coverage niya. Feeling ko, oh. 
mukhang tan ako ha. Parang ang light nito sa akin. Bakit sa swatch parang medyo mag-gray? To si tan. Nag-expect ako ng yellow undertone, pero parang puro neutral tong mga. Feeling ko tan ako, parang may cooling effect siya. Amig niya, seryoso. May cooling effect to. Ah, okay. Nabe-blend naman. For me, parang tan nga yung shade ko. By the way, guys, gagamit ako ng tools. Gagamit din ako ng dalire. So, we'll start tayo sa dalire. Para if ever na hindi ko siya ma-blend ng dalire, gagamit tayo ng brush. And then, sa kabilang side, gagamit tayo ng sponge, which is yung nire-recommend din ni Anna, na sponge doon yung gamitin. May tinuro si Wish Trend. Sa index finger mo, guys, itong pangalawang joint, hanggang sa tip, Ganon daw kadami. So, maglagay ka ng sunscreen. Let's say ito. And that is the amount that you need for your face. Including the ears, neck. Dalariin ko muna siya. Bakit parang ang gray nung akin? Sa totoo lang, hindi ako nadadalian sa kanya i-blend using yung daliri ko. I think mas okay gumamit ng brush. So, ibabrush ko muna tong side na to. Kadali siya i-apply with tools eh. Since medyo makapal kasi yung formula. By the way, isama nyo yan ha. Yung lids nyo, yung kilay nyo. Isama nyo yung salalagyan nyo ng sunscreen. Almost na-cover nyo yung mga veins ko agad. Tignan nyo. Konti lang yung nilagay ko dito sa area na to. Pero yung veins ko, medyo natak halos natakpan niya na lahat. So, meron pa tayo isa pa ugat dito. So, yan. Marami tayong mapagtetestan. <laughs> Okay naman pala siya kapag blended. Sa so, simula lang siya mukhang gray. Kasi kanina talaga pag tinitan mo dito, parang ang gray-gray niya, wala man lang siyang yellow undertone. Pero, carry bells naman pala. So mga kabesi, ayan po yung coverage ng sunscreen. One layer lang yan. Yung finish niya guys, hindi naman siya super matte. Pero hindi rin naman siya malagkit. Kung maga in between siya. Ipiling ko kahit hindi nyo naisip to kapag dry skin ka. Pero sa mga oily utang na loob, mag tayo magbaka sakali. Alam nyo na. Alam nyo naman yung balat natin, di ba? Of course, hindi lang niya matatakpan, syempre, yung mga under eye circle, no? Kailangan ng concealer dyan. Pero the fact na natakpan niya yung mga blemishes, yung mga redness, and yung mga acne scars. Alam mo bakit overwhelming siya? Pag tinignan mo ganyan, parang mag talaga siya, eh. Pero once blended out, nawawala naman. And by the way, guys, ha, stay tuned until the end of the video. Kasi, may naghihintay para sa inyo. And then, gagamitin ko lang yung sponge din, miss ni Anna, yung all-covered na pink. Actually, with sponge, okay din naman pala siya. If you want more natural uh, looking finish, go for sponge. Although, of course, madami siya na absorb na product. Medyo nang hinayang ako dito. 688 to sis. Ngayon. Dito guys, medyo kitang-kita yung mga veins compared dun sa ginamitan ko ng brush. Sa akin lang ah, although it is recommended to use a sponge, mas gusto ko yung brush. Feeling ko mas nakakatipid ako pag brush. Maganda din naman siya, pero mas kailangan mo magdagdag ng layer kapag ang ginamit mo ay sponge. Dahil nga, umaabsorb ng product ang sponge. Although brush maabsorb din, pero na-compare ko kasi guys eh. Medyo ano kasi yun eh, medyo similar yung amount ng mga ugat-ugat ko sa pisngi ko. May mga veins pa rin ako dito, compare dito na almost covered talaga. Pero I notice lighter pa din siya sa skin tone ko. So, ito na kabesi yung pinaka-coverage ng sunscreen. I'm just gonna finish my makeup. But bigyan ko na kayo ng time check, no? So, it's 1.49 in the afternoon. So, I'll give you an update kung kamusta naman siya. And I'll be back. Hola mga kabesi! So, I am back. Ayan na po ang ating full look. Kasi nireview ko din, guys, yung bagong pangkili ng Vice. So, abangan niyo sa channel ko, no? So, anyway, let me give to you my one-by-one -one thoughts about sa skin saver ni Anna. First off, the packaging. For me, I am happy na ganito yung packaging niya kasi pwede mo rin siya isiksik sa kikikit mo. Medyo bulky lang ng konti, pero at least maliit lang siya kasi I was really expecting na malaki siya. Okay na siya ang dalhin for travel. Ang pinaka nagustuhan ko about this packaging is the pump. Alam mo yun, nadi-dispense niya talaga yung product depending on how much you really want. For the mismong context naman dito, very complete naman yung details niya. Wala naman akong hinahanap. Except dito sa sunscreen, na, sa, na hindi ko sure kung broad spectrum ba siya and everything. Sa US naman to guys, ang standard kasi ng sunscreen sa US is you have to put broad spectrum. So, I'm just not sure. PA++ kasi guys, it only uh, tells you about on how much it protects you from the sun. Not necessarily na nakalagay na broad spectrum siya if it protects you both from UVA and UVB rays. So I hope kung broad spectrum to, sana i-include din siya sa packaging. 
I am happy na wala siya yung dalawang ingredient na minention ko kanina na can be harmful for the skin. Kasi na-notice ko sa ibang sunscreen na meron silang oxybenzone at saka oxytonate. So, buti na lang, eto guys, wala siyang ganon. So, it is safe. Yung dalawang ingredients din kasi yung guys, it also disturbs the hormonal process, yung reproductive system at saka yung thyroid natin. So, yun yung sinasabi na minsan hindi pwede sa pregnant women kasi nga, yung hormones is na didisturb. Let's just ask Anna if it is safe for pregnant and lactating women. And actually, yung dalawang ingredients din na kasi yun, guys, is bad for the coral reefs. According to studies, kasi pa nag-bitch ka, syempre, mawawash yung sunscreen. So, napupunta sa coral reefs and namamatay yung mga coral reefs because of that. Next, for the scent, it has a very faint floral scent. It's not bothersome. Once you apply it on your face, hindi naman siya yung nagmumura yung amoy. Pero yung mga kabesi, there's also one thing I noticed with the packaging of this one is medyo similar siya dun sa VNM na sunblock. Parang same sila ng itsura ng packaging pero magkaiba yung ingredients. I checked earlier na medyo similar nga sila pero yung main ingredients nila is very different. Next yung kanyang texture. This one has a mousse texture. Hindi ko na-expect yun. Nakala ko cream siya or anything. And hindi siya runny which is a good thing kasi hindi ko yung alam mo yung magbamadaling ay! <laughs> diba? May mga ganong moments tayo minsan pag liquid foundation naman or kapag mga uh, skincare products na runny na liquid with ganyan. So, ito, hindi walang ganong factor which is also nice. Next, guys, yung coverage. It has, actually, sabi ni Anna, light to medium yung coverage niya, even on the packaging. Pero siguro kasi depende pa din yan kung how much blemishes do you have. I have so many veins on my face. Nakita niyo yung mga acne scars ko sa noo ko. Ayan, na-cover niya partially, yes. Medium coverage siya for my skin. Feeling ko lang ha, pwede siyang i-build up to full. But not less, I like the coverage of this one. I mean, sobrang okay niya for everyday. Although, one thing I notice is the shade. Medyo light pa rin siya sa akin even though it's tan. So, I hope they could produce more na deeper shade. And at the same time, sana kung pwede nilang mahaluan na magkaroon ng yellow undertone so it will suit more Asian skin. Kasi kanina medyo bothering siya sa akin dahil noong una ko siya in-apply, sa ko parang ang gray. Although kapag binlend mo naman, parang meron siyang tone adaptive technology, ganon, na sumuwak naman siya. Pero alam mo yun, kapag first time mo, tapos nakita mo siya parang hala, bakit parang maputik, parang mag-gray. Let me know if you want a versus versus of this two. I think sa shade, medyo pwede naman silang magkalapit. Coverage nito guys, sobrang pak na pak. Kung naghahanap ka ng very lightweight na base, pero may coverage, this is a really good option. Whether you use a brush or a sponge, any of the two is okay. Nag-work parehas. So, pumapatak mga kabesi na ang isang ML na itong product na to is 22 pesos and 93 centavos. Eto guys, isa-isahin natin yung mga ingredients na kasama niya. So, first yung vitamin C, which is very essential guys for skin brightening. What it does is it removes the dead skin cells. It also triggers the collagen synthesis. So, next naman is yung niacinamide. Niacinamide is basically vitamin vitamin B3. So, ang ginagawa naman ng niacinamide, guys, is ini-improve nga yung pores natin, kumbaga, binabalik niya sa normal size. Yung, kumbaga, nag-expand yan as nagkakaroon tayo ng mga skin bumps, nagkakaroon tayo ng mga redness or skin irritation, nag-expand kasi yan. So, ngayon, yung niacinamide, ang trabaho niya is ibalik yung normal size ng pores natin. So, ang maganda rin kasi, guys, sa niacinamide, it is also a good anti-aging product kasi may anti-wrinkle properties din siya and at the same time, in-even din niya yung ating skin tone. So, yung hyaluronic acid naman, guys, basically, sa katawan natin, meron tayong hyaluronic acid talaga. So, it is what keeps our skin plump or well hydrated. Ang ginagawa ng hyaluronic acid, guys, is nag attract ng more water. More water that you have sa inyong skin is mas magiging plump ngayon yung skin mo or mas magiging moisturized siya, well hydrated, hindi siya mukhang dull. And then, we have the Centella Asiatica, which is my major, 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 <laughs> my major, major ingredient for acne. So, Centella Asiatica, na sobrang tagal nang ginagamit as a medicinal herb. Kasi, it was proven that Centella Asiatica helps in soothing skin irritation, sugat, ganyan. It speeds up the healing of the acne. And at the same time, it also helps prevent scarring. I am happy na itong mga ingredients na to is nandito sa skincare product na to. It's not just your regular sunscreen na pang protection lang talaga. This one also gives coverage. And meron din siyang skincare benefit. Let's now talk about the price. So, this one retails for 688 pesos. So, almost 700 pesos na siya. And for me, I find it pricey sa totoo lang. 
na if I am looking for sunscreen. Pero, if bibili ka ng regular na sunscreen, ang mga presyo ng sunscreen, let's say K-Beauty or local, is nag-range from 400 to 1,000 pesos. Sunscreen lang yun. But since this one, it has coverage and it also has skincare benefits like yung mga hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and everything, for me, na-compensate niya yung price. Kung baga, para nagdagdag ka ng 200 pesos para may coverage siya, para ito na yung makeup base mo. Yes, it is pricey, but if you are gonna consider the other uh, benefit that you will get from this sunscreen, for me, justifiable yung price na 688. Honestly, I was expecting na ang presyo nito is 499 or anything less than 500 pesos. Not everyone has the budget to afford this. But if you are looking for a skincare product that can double as your makeup, then this is a very good substitute. Actually, para ng ating foundation yung performance niya, pero mas lightweight. Yung tinry ko siya kanina, tinted sunscreen lang ba to? Bakit ganun yung coverage? <laughs> Kasi nasanay tayo na when you say tinted sunscreen, as in na parang very minimal lang yung pigment. By the way, this one has SPF 50 PA++. Guys, according to studies, SPF 30, which is yung sun protection factor, yun yung standard na dapat meron yung sunscreen. Anything less than that is lesser na yung protection. Re-recommend na maximum number ng sunscreen na ilalagay mo is 50. So, SPF 50 is the maximum, which is na-reach naman niya. According to those studies, mga kabesi, it is pointless to use a sunscreen with SPF 100, PA++++++, unlimited plus. It is useless because yung SPF 50, guys, it already blocks the UVA and UVB rays 98%. And then yung 100 is 99%. So, 1% difference lang sila. And at the same time, mas marami syempre yung chemicals ng SPF 100 kesa sa SPF 50. Siyempre, pipili mo ba yung taas ka ng number pero 1% lang pala yung difference niya with SPF 50. Actually, you are putting more chemicals sa face mo because it's SPF 100. Mas marami pa siyang tweak-tweak sa ingredients, ba? Anything between SPF 30 and SPF 50 is fine. And you have to make sure na yung bibilin mong sunscreen is broad spectrum. You should be protected from both rays. I mentioned din pala sa akin ni Anya, guys, regarding sa shade range is kasi I asked her, sabi ko sa kanya, Anna, tan ako, pero lighter pa din siya sa akin. Sabi niya, kaya ganito daw yung shade range ng first three release niya, is because ito yung nasa middle uh, shade. Kung baga, gitna-gitna sila, para she can create more darker shade, wala nang in-between, in-between. So, pinag-aaralan pa daw nila if ano pang shade yung i-release nila. So, good thing, good thing to know naman. So, if you're gonna ask me if it is worth it for 688 pesos, if you're looking for a coverage, like yung talagang legit na merong coverage yung uh, sunscreen at meron ding skincare benefit, yes, you could give this a try. For me, kaya niya nalamangan yung BLK is because of the skincare benefits. Although si BLK naman guys, kasi is universal for everyone, ganyan-ganyan. Ito din actually for any skin type, pero more on nag-release siya for acne prone and oily skin. If kung gusto mo ng just a regular tinted sunscreen, you could opt for BLK. Meron din siyang coverage and maganda rin yung coverage niya. But if you do have problematic skin and you have acne prone skin, and kung gusto mo ng mas pack na coverage, kasi honestly, mas pack yung coverage niya. Experience ko, mas angat ng konti yung coverage niya to over BLK. Pero ang pinakalamang niya talaga is skincare benefits. So, ayun. May tatlo kayong option. You can go for Bello. You can, you can go for regular sunscreen. You can go for my coverage, pero wala masyadong skincare benefits. Or you can go for the three na may bang ng coverage, sunscreen at merong skincare benefits and this is it. For me, if you have the budget, yes, it is definitely worth trying pero depending kasi sa preference yun eh. Nonetheless guys, this is a good substitute for foundation. So puto na tayo ngayon mga kapesi sa wear test para malaman natin if maglalas ba siya ng matagal. By the way, I set my face guys with translucent powder kasi ayokong maapektohan yung kulay ng aking makeup base. Although I added uh, blush and highlighter lang. Puto na tayo sa ating wear test. Kabesi. So, pakita ko lang sa inyo sa natural light yung tinted sunscreen. Nagdagdag lang ako guys ng blush and highlighter. Ha? And it's been uh, 3 hours na siyang nasa mukha ko as of the moment. Ayan po siya no mga kabesi. Medyo nag up na ako sa kanya sa T-zone guys. So, update ko kay later on the 4th hour para if ever magre-retouch na rin tayo. So guys, isuswatch ko lang siya sa natural light kasi may mga kabesing nagre-request na baka mamaya iba yung shade kapag sa studio and sa natural light. Ito yung shade not medium. Sorry ay eh, wala ko yung light. Tung dalawa lang muna yung swatch natin dito. Actually guys, wala masyadong difference sa shade. Medyo similar lang sila. And medyo may pagka-pink yung medium and then neutral naman yung 
dito sa tan. And mga kabesi, ayan na yung lagay ng sunscreen. So, nag-oil up na siya sa face. Starting third hour, actually, nag-oil up na siya. And now is, ayan na yung itsura niya. Oily na yung mukha ko. Medyo, pagtitignan mo siyang ganyan, yung T-zone lang. Pero, medyo may basa-basa na rin yung dirt of my face. So, kakatapos ko lang mag-film nung mukbang namin ni Papa. Actually, parang hindi nga siya mukbang. Nag-chikahan lang kami. <laughs> sabi sa inyo. Ito ko mga kabesing na blot ko after 4 hours. And naglighten na guys yung coverage niya. Hindi na siya kasing kapal nung kanina. Nonetheless, okay pa rin naman siyang tignan. Hindi pa naman siya yung parang dugyot or malagkit tignan. So, ayun lang asing update. Balitaan ko ulit kayo maya-maya. Mag-e-edit muna ako ng video. 8.51. So, 1.49 natin siya in-apply. 7 hours. Mula na apply ko siya. And nung 4th hour, guys, is nag-blot tayo. So, this is how my oily skin looks like. By the way, guys, I have oily skin, ha? So, as you can see, di ba? Sobrang oily na nung mukha ko. And yung baba ko, ayan. Yung dito rin, shiny shimmering splendid na rin yung gilid-gilid ng pagmumukha ko. So, ito mga kabesa yung na-blot ko. 3 hours later nung nag-blot tayo kanina. So, definitely nag-oil up na siya. And yung coverage niya, guys, from medium is light na lang. Pero, ang nakakatuwa as dito, guys, is that it's just a sunscreen. And it still looks nice. Pero, alam mo, hindi ko alam kung ano meron sa kanya after ko mag-blot. Parang, okay pa din siya. Fresh pa din siyang tignan. Hindi siya mukhang dugyot or nangitim, hindi rin naman siya nag-oxidize sa akin. Although, I noticed kanina nung nag-picture ako na may flash, meron siyang white cast. Kasi masyadong mataas, guys, din yung SPF niya. And medyo makapal din yung formula niya. So, nung nag-picture ako, ayan, makita niyo sa screen, meron siyang white cast. I advise this on a daily use. Pero kung pa-party-party ka sa gabi at mag-picture-picture kayo with flash, I do not recommend it. Kasi... May white cast talaga siya. Talaga nakita niya medyo may gray. It's because of the titanium dioxide. Ayan. It's a natural ingredient for sunscreen. And yun yung isa sa mga con noon, which is meron siyang white cast. So, ayun lang mga kabesi. Not less ha, kung agagamitin mo ito on a daily basis, and you can apply it in the morning. And then, hanggang hapon, bench, it's pretty long lasting. Sa totoo lang. Tingnan mo yung loo ko, hindi pa masyadong kida yung mga scars. Although, nag-lighten ng konti, pero hindi pa rin like super busy. For daily use, guys, and if you are gonna consider using this as your makeup base, Again guys, sunscreen needs to be reapplied every 3 hours. Kahit yan pa rin yung base mo, is yung sunscreen effect niya, of course, naglilesin na yan. So I suggest gumamit ka na lang ng powder na may SPF. O kaya naman gumamit ka ng uh, sunscreen spray para ma-retain mo yung sun protection. Renji, Renji girl! So ayun lang naman sa akin mga kabesi. Pero ah, uh, if you're gonna use it on a daily basis and if you have the budget and considering it has a lot of skincare benefits and meron siyang pack na pack na coverage. For 688 yes, justifiable guys yung price niya. So anyway mga kabesi, yan na rin yung aking final update because I have to remove my makeup na because matutulog na rin ako may lakad pa ako bukas. So for 7 hours actually for tinted sunscreen is pretty impressive. So yeah, thumbs up ako sa wear test na to. Okay siya in the long run sa akin. Sa aking skin and considering I have oily skin pa. So, ayun lang mga kabesi, balik na tayo sa ating main video. Anna, congrats for releasing a new product. Nakaka-proud yung mga co-content creator. Nakakatuwa lang na, alam mo yon na mas dumadami na yung mga local brands natin, di ba? Para mas marami na tayong pwedeng try So, that's it mga kabesi for today's video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. And if ever you have tried a tinted sunscreen, please let me know your experience with it para ma-share din natin sa mga kabesi kung kamusta naman yung tinted sunscreen kung nag-work pa sa inyo or hindi. Ayun ba yung mga kabesi ay nagpa-giveaway pala sa inyo si Anna ng Tinted Sunscreen. So, there will be winners for this giveaway mga kabesi. So, uh, kapag nag-comment kayo sa baba guys, please comment your shade para dun sa winners, alam ko na kung ano yung ship ko sa inyo. I will be putting the mechanics in the description box and also kung ano yung comment nyo with regards to the shade. There will be three winners for this giveaway. One for the light, one for the medium, and one for the tan. So, if you're interested to join guys, please make sure you check the description box so, ayun na mga kabes yung ating video for today. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And you might consider subscribing to my channel if hindi ka pa subscribe. Pwede mo rin akong i-follow sa aking mga social media accounts. I am May A. Layag on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. God bless us all guys and bye!